Hi everyone, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Let's go! Our patient today came via PC to mobile devices, and I for one am happy to see it. Not so long ago, I passed this game a few times on the computer, but that certainly doesn't mean I won't play it again, because this game is quite entertaining. Let's meet The Cave! The Cave was made by the same people who once surprised our great-great-grandfathers with a remarkably fun quest game called Monkey Island. Graphically, The Cave is done in a similar animation style. In principle, I can't honestly say that I like the character design that much, but the backgrounds are simply remarkable. What are also remarkable are the plot and the characters themselves. In general, the main hero of the game is The Cave itself, or himself, if to be more exact. This cave is a very ironic fellow with clever humor, and it's a lot of fun listening to all of his remarks. And he sounds great. Here, take a listen. Is here to right a wrong. Moving along. The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love, but does desire her. The game characters are seven dudes, and all of them have skeletons in the closet. These seven guys are supposed to personify the seven deadly sins. At the beginning, you choose three out of the seven, and the cave is arranged out for the chosen characters by showing the levels which will tell the story of each of those characters to the player. Throughout the game, you'll have to switch back and forth between the heroes and control each of them in turn. The gameplay is pretty much a puzzle quest, where to pass further into the cave, you have to solve a heap of puzzles. Each character has a special skill set or ability that the other characters don't have, which make for an interesting combination on how to solve the cave with your chosen trio. Well, for example, the knight can become invincible, that is, until he moves while another dude is able to breathe underwater, and so on. Everyone's special skills become useful at various points in the game. Control here is through gestures. Well, swipe to jump, and tap to go. It is sometimes convenient, and sometimes quite the opposite. Frankly speaking, in the PC version, the control system also wasn't a main strength of the game. But both here and there, you get used to it easily enough to overlook its shortcomings. What else can I tell about the cave? It is a good game. The plot is strong, the characters are compelling, and it makes us think and use the environment. Also, the reorganization of levels, depending on which three characters are chosen, opens up new options every time you play it. There are shortcomings undoubtedly in the game, but the advantages block them out completely. That's all for today. Follow us, put like on everything, and so on. You know the drill, right? This was Jay, with reviews from Mob.org. See you!